Are you thinking about making a move to Greensboro, North Carolina, and you love historical houses and neighborhoods, then you're gonna wanna check out this video. Today, I'm gonna be taking you on a walking tour of the neighborhood of Dunleith, and you do not wanna miss this. My name is Meredith Parsons. I'm a realtor. I live here, I love it here. I want you to move here and love it here as much as I do. If you could do this, it would be awesome. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because each week, we take you on a little tour, a little adventure of all things Greensboro Triad area, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Are you ready? Let's go. Today we are in the neighborhood of Dunley. And if you've seen the, the previous videos, you know that there are three historical neighborhoods here in Greensboro, North Carolina. They're all very close to each other in proximity. And where we are is on just a little bit northeast of downtown. You are probably like half a mile, maybe a mile away. And um, here's an example of one of the houses here. So this one is the smallest of the three. So go back and watch the other two. I did College Hill um, last week and then I did a Google map tour the week before that. So you can see where everything's located. So this one is the smallest of the three that we're gonna be seeing. Um, there's about 573 people that live here. And so it's very small, it's really contained. And, but I would say going and looking at the prices that this one you are gonna get more bang for your buck here. These range in price, I only went back the last year, from 188 or 188,000 to like 400,000. So the fun fact about Dunleaf is it is part of two designations. It's on the National Register of Historical Homes and then it's on the Greensboro Preservation. And so, um, that way they can take money. You get a tax cut federally for having an historical home, but then they also take part of those taxes and they use it to fix up the neighborhood. So one thing that they've been doing is they've been putting up street lamps. I'll show you a street sign. They've put Dunleith on, um, not every single one, but all, they're trying to really, uh, definitely on the outskirts of the neighborhood. It's not far from downtown. There's not like, other the other historical neighborhoods where you've got restaurants and stuff right in it but this is only tiny and you're so close to downtown it doesn't really matter like here's one house right here and if we turn around there's downtown just right there and if you see behind me they've put in an underpass an overpass an underpass to go to downtown to keep everybody safe i mean how great is that close to the hospital which is only right around the corner you're 14 minutes to the airport um, the school systems here are Irving Park elementary Swan Middle and Grimsley High School and um, just like College Hill you would still be slotted for Grimsley I mean, look at this orange so a lot of these houses are very different aren't they you've got some Victorian but you've got ionic columns on it that rocking porch and I'll show you something else that I love if you've watched my other videos you know how much I love brick look at this I'm gonna go drive you over to the Memorial Stadium been minor league um, baseball teams and but now it is home to the Aggie baseball team so here's the War Memorial Stadium and then right across the street oh, it's getting windy, is the farmers market right over there so the farmers market is open this has been here for a really long time like a really 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 long time like it's the first farmers market that we had here in Greenville and it is open year round indoors and um, that part's year round. Outdoors, it's probably when the weather's better. It's definitely got a different vibe than College Hill. But a lot of these lots are, are smaller. They're like a quarter of an acre lot. So totally manageable, not huge. Um, it's another magnolia. 
but um, so that's just something different about here. Well, I appreciate you sticking to the end and I'm grateful for you watching. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and come back next week because we are going to be checking out Fisher Park. Okay, thanks. See you later.